Hello everyone, welcome to my newest stamp -a stack This is the Taco Fiesta stamp -a stack It features the Taco Fiesta stamp set, which is an amazing and adorable stamp set, which I have loved, loved to play with. It has been so much fun. This stamp -a stack will include six cards. You're going to get to make two of each of these cards. And each day on my blog, I will feature a different card and there will be a video walking you through it. Now I do have some class kits available. If you do want to purchase the class kit, it includes the supplies for your cards. It includes all the card bases for all of the cards and of course all the die cut pieces for all the cards. You're also going to get a sheet of basic white to do your stamping and fussy cutting with. And in addition to all the basic card supplies, you're also going to get a sampling of the flowers and more DSP. This is a host only DSP in the mini catalog. There are so many beautiful, amazing papers in here. And you're going to get a sampling of all of these papers. You're going to get one four by six sheet of all of them. You're going to choose four pieces to use for your stamp -a stack. So you can choose any of these papers to use for your stamp -a stack. You're going to um, choose four of them, trim them up, and um, use them on your cards. And then you'll still have eight pieces left over to do whatever you want with. You're also going to get um, 24 of the enamel essentials dots. Those are in the the mini catalog right now. So let's get started with our DSP. We're actually going to make this card today. We're going to make two of the little pinata cards today. Um, and part of today's project or part of today's video is going to be trimming up our DSP. So I have already chosen the four pieces that I'm going to use. So I'm going to pull those out. I'm using different pieces than I use for these cards, just so you can see the, the different varieties you can get. So we are going to do our trimming for our DSP first. So I'm going to put these aside real quick. I'm going to move these out of the way. We're going to come back and use those in just a minute. So I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and we are going to to trim up our all of our DSP. So choose four pieces. These are the four that I have chosen to use. They are beautiful pieces. You can use either side. They're really fantastic. So we're going to trim up all of the DSP, not just for the cards that we're making today, but for all six cards, we're going to do all the trimming all at once. So for your first card, and all the measurements are in the video description as well as on the blog post for the first card. So for the first card, we are going to cut this at five and a half by two. Now this is a four by um, six inch piece of DSP. So we're just going to cut half an inch off of one end. You can save this. You can use this for a different project. Do whatever you want with that one. We won't be using it in the stamp a, stank, st stamp a stack, but you can do it for, you save it for whatever you want. So I have four pieces or two pieces that are five and a half by two inches. So this, this is for one project. I'm going to set those aside. All right. I have another piece that we are going to cut into three by four. So this one, we are just cutting in half. This is a six by um, four inch piece of paper. We want three by four. So we're just going to cut two in half, just like that. Set those aside. All right. Number three is the one with the most cutting. We are going to, again, cut it to five and a half. And again, you can save this little half inch piece. This is great for just a little border on the top or bottom of cards, whatever you want. And I'm going to use the right side of my trimmer. I have some measurements on this side that I'm going to use. It's easier to, to hold the paper and move it to the right than it is on the left. So we need two pieces that are one by five. So I'm going to cut two pieces at one by five inch each. And then we need four pieces that are half inch by five and a half inches. So let me see, I'm trying to, my half inch line there. We're gonna cut four of these. So basically we're just gonna cut this um, down to the half inch strips. So you should end up with an exact amount. So this one should line up perfectly to get two of those left, perfect. So we have four half inch strips and then four or five one inch strips of the, that are each five and a half inches long. All right, and our final piece, we need two by five pieces. So this one I'm going to cut down to five and save this piece if you want. And then we'll cut this in half at two. Okay, so these are all of our of our DSP pieces. We've, we've done all of the, the trimming. And so 
the pieces that we're going to need today are those three by four inch pieces. We're going to need these. And then we're going to need two of the half inch pieces that we die, that we cut. All right, now the other pieces we're going to set aside. We will come back to these tomorrow and on a Wednesday for videos number one and two. So I'm going to set those aside. For today's card, we are making the little pinata cards. So we're going to need our little we're going to need our little dots. You're going to need that that piece of white cardstock that you're going to do this stamping and fussy cutting on. And then I'm going to grab those two um, Orchid Oasis card bases. So let's start with our with our stamping. Let me fold these and get them out of the way. We're going to start with our stamping. We're going to use Memento ink and we are going to stamp two of the of the little pinatas. Now I have already stamped and colored one of them. So for the video, I'm only going to stamp one of them. But if you were making, if you got the card kit, if you were making these, you would stamp two of them. Now let's talk a little bit about the card kit. The card kit is $25. They are ready to go. So they will mail as soon as I get your payment. They will either mail that same business day or the very following business day. As soon as payment is received, and again, you're going to get supplies for six super cute cards. You will need the Taco Fiesta stamp set to complete these. So, But they are ready to go. So if you are interested in getting the stamp -a stack kit for the Taco Fiesta, please email me. All the details are in the video description or on my blog. All right. Stampin' Blends that we're using, I'm going to do my Dark Parakeet Party. And I'm going to do the little blanket on his back. And then one of the little... These little tails things there. Um, I'm not doing a whole lot of blending, especially on the pinata. It's a very small space, so we don't need to do a whole lot of blending here. I'm taking my dark sweet sorbet, and let's see, I'm just gonna kind of dot these little, um, I guess, little necklace or the whatever he's wearing around his neck. And then again, back to the little blanket. This is a very small area, so I'm using my um, the bullet tip. I find I have a little bit more control on that bullet tip. All right, so that was the Sweet Sorbet, the Dark Sweet Sorbet. I'm using Light Orchid Oasis. And I am just going to fill in the rest of this, the bottom of this blanket anyway, with that Light Orchid Oasis. I'll just kind of go through around the edge. The Taco Fiesta I have used so much for so many different projects. This is one of my favorites, so I decided I had to bring in another class somehow with this Taco Fiesta because it is so adorable. All right, now with that dark Orchid Oasis, we're just going to finish off the, the little blanket or the saddle, whatever that might be. All right, now just to add a little bit of shading, I, my, my, I wanted my light gray granite. Let me get my light gray granite. My light gray granite i'm just going to go a little bit on the nose a little bit behind the ears and then on his back legs just a little bit back there that's just going to add just a little bit of shadows and i'm going to take my my color lifter and just kind of go over those just a little bit and that's going to soften that line a little bit it's not going to erase that color it's just going to soften it so that it just kind of blends together okay now you're going to do that to both of your little pinatas if you um, did both of them. So go ahead and fussy cut them both out. I will say that there is quite a bit of fussy cutting in this um, class to go in this stamp stack, but um, the, none of the images are really that hard to, to fussy cut, so I think that it is, it's definitely worth it to get all the dimension you can on those, on those little projects. The little pinata here, he is probably the hardest one to fussy cut, but even still, I, I wouldn't say he's hard to fussy cut. But there are the most little curves and lines to go around him than there are in the other ones. So, but it's totally doable. So there you have two little pinatas for our cards. So we're ready to go. Let's do a tiny bit more stamping. So in your card kit, you're going to receive all the supplies for your cards. That's all these little die cut pieces. You have two of the um, scalloped rectangles. Those are from the scalloped contour dies. I'm going to pull in my Orchid Oasis ink pad and we're just going to stamp some of these little candies. 
around on each of them. You can color these if you want. You can take the time, do some coloring on the little candies, but um, I really want the focus to be the little pinata. Oh, goodness, I think I just, <laughs> I just lost one of my little pinata guys. Um, I wanted the focus to be on the on the little pinata and not the candy, so I wanted them just to kind of hang there subtly in the background. Okay, so we have those. I got a little distracted because one of my pinatas just slid under my, my stamp and blend storage, so I'm going to be short a pinata. All right, now all I want, I have the stamp that says, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. All I want from this one is the it's your birthday. So I am just going to, because it's a photopolymer, I can strategically just ink up the it's your birthday part. And I've already have these little die cut labels that will come in your kit. They are from the Give It A Whirl dies. And I'm going to stamp that, just the it's your birthday part. Now if you are a little bit hesitant to ink it up that way, you can use a piece of hosta tape or something else to mask off the holy guacamole part. Or if you're super brave, you can actually cut apart your photopolymer stamps if you're really brave. I'm not that brave. I can I can ink it strategically. Now if you don't want to do this, there are other greetings that you can use in the in the stamp set or if you have another small birthday greeting, you can use that as well. Okay, I I don't know what to do with that other with, Let me see if I can if it's under there. Hold on, give me one sec. I just have to lift up my marker storage. Okay, we rescued the piñata. There we go. Man, never a dull moment, right? Okay, so we have everything stamped, ready to go. So let's go ahead and stick on our little pinata. So I'm just going to take a couple dimensionals for each of them and stick these on. Fill off those backings and just kind of toggle it a little bit so that it looks like it's swinging and having a good, good time. And we are going to add a little string to it. We don't want it to look like it's just floating there. So we're going to add a little string. I'm going to use my black Stampin' Write marker. This is different than our Stampin' Blends. You can see the difference in them. The Stampin' Blends are more of a rectangle. This is round. This is water-based. The Stampin' Blends are alcohol-based. Um, you get a finer tip with the Stampin' Write marker, which is why I wanted to go with this one. If you don't have a Stampin' Write marker, any black marker you can use, you can use a fine tip Sharpie whatever you want. And I am just going to kind of eyeball a string that goes all the way up. You don't have to be perfect about this. The strings that hold pinatas, if you've ever, if you've ever seen a pinata, they're swinging around, they're, they're moving. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And I think it looks a little better when it's not perfectly straight. Now, if you have trouble with that, if you want to make it perfect, then go ahead and get out a ruler and draw a little line. I would do that before you added your little pinata guide though, if you were using a ruler. Okay. So let's start assembling these cards. These cards come together very quickly, especially once you get all the stamping and coloring done. So we have our two card bases. And we have our DSP. So let's go ahead and stick on some of our DSP. I love this pattern. Oh, do I want to use that side? Hmm. I think I want to stick to the to the flowered side. I really like that side. And I think it goes really well with um with this Taco Fiesta stamp set. So let's stick these on. These are gonna go right on the bottom. You're gonna have just an equal border on the left, bottom, and right sides. Do the same on this one, and then we are going to add our scallop rectangle. Just want to make sure I get that nice and straight. All right, let's add on our little scallop rectangle piece. You can put these on with dimensionals if you want. I'm using um, just my stamp and seal. I'm using my stamp and seal plus because my stamp and seal is out right now, so I'm just using my regular stamp and seal. My stamp and seal plus. All right, look at how cute this is. It's so cute. All right, now for those little half inch pieces, now we're actually gonna end up trimming these a little bit. We're not gonna use the whole thing, but um, it's easier to just cut those longer strips and trim it if you need it. This is gonna go on the whole bottom of the card from edge to edge. Let's just stick that on. We'll trim that up in just a second. And we'll go up a little bit more on this one. Stick that on. My little 
This piece is a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can straighten that up. It's always a little bit challenging to do this on camera because the camera's in the way, so you can't get right over your project, so you can't make sure that they're really nice and straight. So just flip those over and trim off those little ends. You can save them if you want, but I'll probably just be throwing those little scraps away. All right, we are almost done. We just have our greetings left. So let me pull these greetings over. I am just going to trim this banner end off. I just want a straight edge over here on each of those. And then we're gonna stick these on with some dimensionals. And I think I'm just gonna use up some edge pieces here. Edge pieces are great for little strips like this. They are some of the best use of those little dimensionals you can have. So I'm going to stick my greeting right onto the, to that first one. And let me get the second one. Pull off that dimensional backing. Perfect. Just like that. All right. Final finishing touch. We are going to use a few of the little enamel dots we have here. I'm going to use the Knight of Navy ones. I'm going to use a big one and the next size down. And we're just going to put two dots on each of those greeting pieces. Oops, turn it this way. And that is going to complete card number one for this Stampa Stack series. Check back with me tomorrow for card number two, where we are going to make two of this card. So cute. If you want the kit for this Taco Fiesta Stampa Stack, please email me to see if the kits are still available. And if they are, I will get them out immediately to you. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.